Hey everyone, real quick, I just wanted to say that I accidentally used the wrong microphone input for this episode using my laptop mic, which sucks <laughs> and is not great. So it's not going to be great audio from the commentary perspective for this video, but please bear with it. I promise in the next one it's fixed, but thank you so much in advance. Please enjoy the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I'm going to try to be a little longer getting late. Um, also, I looked up where to get chlorine armor. Um, turns out it's not one in Novaria, but it's the two uh, alien vendors in Citadel, the Hanar, and uh, which I knew, but I keep forgetting. Uh, but then Morlin, who I forget about, he's in the lower, lower wards. Uh, plus there's the DLC one. But those are the only two, or three, I guess, for sure. Well, even the two shopkeepers, it's kind of iffy, right? Um, whether or not you'll actually get what you want <laughs> from it. Um, and you can, like, you can, like, save before you go and, like, reload and stuff. Um. Look at that! See, this is what, this is what's bumming me out, is it used to be what I would do is I would like, I'd like to look at the planets up close. I wonder if, um, hang on, oh, 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 I'm gonna try to get a cool photo mode picture of me, like, throwing myself into space in front of the Earth. Hang on, here we go. Anyway, I swear in the old version you, you left tracks. It was fun to be like, whoa, look, I left tracks on the moon. <laughs> like, of all planets, you know, where I'm like running around like a crazy woman, and I'm like, oh man, look at my other planets that are like so far away, but then as soon as I get to the moon, I'm like, oh, the moon, man, that's the exciting one. Oh, no, wait, I can't throw myself off of anything. It's just all flat up here. Oh, I can't do it. Oh wait, okay, hang on. Here we go. Um, get out of the way. Go down like this, maybe. And set the field off, yes. Something like this. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it like this. But you used to. I don't know why it's been messing up. I guess lately for me. Um, but um, <laughs> you used to be able to zoom in with the like scope. I guess on your big missile launcher and look and I don't know I just thought it was really cool to like look up at the earth from the moon you know like of all planets where I'm like oh yeah like about the deep space and like nobody's ever been here or you know type thing like I've never been there or whatever but I don't know just seeing like a home from like a familiar-ish place you know like the moon and the, I don't know it's kind of mundane I guess in the wider galaxy but there's something about seeing home from from second home, I guess. I don't know. The moon. <laughs> Call the moon second home. But kinda. It's it's familiar anyway. As much as a planet is that I you never landed on. Oh, let's get out of here. Oop, it's not what I I didn't want to take a photo, but it's fine. Alright, now we're gonna go look at the debris. And then we'll go back to the alliance. Don't worry, we'll be back for you later, don't worry. I want to go look at this debris. Which is probably an electronics thing if I remember correctly, but hey. For a planet that's supposed to be being mined, it's not really not much going on. 
I wonder if they actually modeled this part of the moon off of like the actual topography of the moon that we like have pictures and stuff of. Like if we're in one of the named craters, because freaking everything. I have this giant book on like astronomy. Um, and a lot of it's like inner solar, like in our solar system. Uh, and they have like really detailed maps of every single planet and the moon and like a couple of Jupiter's moons. And like pretty every single thing is named. It's insane. Like, it was like a giant gap. <gasps> oh, we barely got that one. I probably shouldn't have, to be honest, but we did it. I was like, where's our sun? There's our sun. That's where the light's all coming from. But yeah, I don't know. It's, in, it's cool. Like, I was even the very first time I played, I was like, it's the moon, you know? <laughs> and you can see Earth, and I don't know, it's just like a, like a friendly neighborhood wave. You know, you're like, oh yeah, that's my neighborhood over there. And as you like run around exploring... Oh, I'm going in the totally wrong direction. Um, as you run around exploring the rest of like, the wider world. Why, why do I insist on going the wrong way? I'm so sorry. I'm distracted. Alright, we're back. But they have 80,000 turrets. It is just hilarious to me that there are so many turrets in this, like, really remote base. I don't know, I, I guess you would put a ton of turrets on your remote base, but still. Like, who's gonna, like, try to infiltrate an Alliance moon base? Probably a lot of people, honestly, but yeah. It'd be really hard to get into our solar system without us knowing at this point. Like, in the, at this point in, like, galactic history. I think this is, oh yeah, this is one where you have to go to all three. Oh, by the way, I checked and I already have um, Cadence achievement. I mean, I already had Rex's, but I have Cadence now, even though it's, uh, we were only on like two with him. Destroy the conduits in each of the three VI cores. That's why we're here. Mmm, I should have brought more technicians for this. More engineer types. Alas. Uh -huh. I definitely picked poorly for this. It's just a bunch of turrets waiting for us. suck so much.
rocket drones. Yeah. I might actually go back. I need to go grab. Oh, I might need to grab Kali for this. Maybe, maybe bring Tally and Caden, but then we're like not beefy at all, you know? Because Caden has tech abilities. AI hacking might be nice, but it doesn't seem to work like super well. doing that. I could just go the Italian, but she just died just as quickly, you know? It's so hard when it is close. Why am I not... Like, I'm not doing anything. participating in this fight for whatever reason either. Oh, oh what what did they both get in a stasis? Oh no, not that one. Why is this not I don't know why that one went so well. Gaten only died once, and the rest of us lived with minimal damage. Maybe because I had them sit there bunt down in one spot that was safe. Oh my gosh, so many exclamation points. It's okay, got this. Easy peasy. Oh no, we're oh jeez. I don't think we are. I think there's toxic gas being vented in because the AI doesn't want to be destroyed. And here we are. It's apparently I think we're good. It's apparently not enough to kill me, just enough to like make me go ooh. Feel somewhat nauseous, and that's it. Lights on the optical mainframes for the third die, the first of the three PD cluster clusters containing the DIs offline. Only the very end. I think we got him, Commander. At the at the end, I think of all of it, the central computer has something for us. But 
but yeah, this one's, it's rough. The freaking rocket drones, even, even if you're not playing on Sanity, it's pretty rough. Why don't I grab this? Cool. Me out. Ship? Vehicle, rather, I guess. And then, oh. Oh boy. He could have told me. What's his name? Amaragon. By the way, there are three no Jesus, yeah, like, oh, really? oh, is that all? So for whatever reason, my brain completely turned off for this, and I decided, I knew that there were three that you had to do, right? There's three different sections of this particular mission, and for some reason I decided to check the map and go back to that stupid piece of debris, because I was on autopilot, and I was just like, oh, there's another, like, you know, quest marker out there, and so that's where I went, while fully knowing somewhere deep in my waterlogged brain that the three different segments like of the mission are right next to each other so it's three different buildings <laughs> so i just go gallivanting off get out there yell at myself turn around come back actually i think what i ended up doing is reloading and you'll see why this is a problem it like well you won't because i edited it out <laughs> um but so I reloaded because I was like, I don't want to go all the way back. Let's just reload. And for s somehow I didn't notice that I reloaded to a point before the first uh, room that we spent so much time trying to clear out. And so I redo that whole thing because they all are they're exactly the same. So I couldn't tell like at the beginning until I go to break the machine parts right and the poison fog pops up again and i was like that's not supposed to happen it's supposed to be three different things for each building and i was like that's weird but i guess maybe i misremembered i don't know and then it's only much later that i realize that i did end up redoing it and so the next little bit of voice commentary you hear is from me saying something to the effect of if that was a redo i sure hope i edited it out and i did past me don't worry about it anyway that's a summary of what's happened you'll have seen glimpses of it i guess uh throughout the video that's still playing but anyway <laughs> that's a two minute explanation for what happened but uh thank you all so much for dealing with me in this episode i appreciate it if that was a redo for whatever reason, I'm sorry, I'll take that out. And I'll just let you guys know now that for whatever reason, somehow I accidentally All clear. redid one. I redid, a, I redid a section. Ooh, heavy armor. Too bad. done. How weird that there aren't any bodies around. Even though apparently this VI like massacred the entire... Oh my gosh. Massacred the entire station. Medic barrier fields powering up. Yeah, so now the shields are building up. I think it goes a little faster. Area. 
You can't hurt yourself with these explosions. Too close to him. Now I would I, I'm really starting to worry that I redid one section. We'll see. See, I just hurt myself. Again. I'm too close. The second oh my gosh, I did wrong the scream. I can't believe I did this somehow. Like I know at one point I did I I reloaded really quick because I messed up, but I thought I reloaded to the correct one, but apparently not. So that's cool. It's fine. But, you know, we got this nice make- Oh, jeez! This isn't like your average action sci-fi where you can just shoot a door panel and it opens. Oh, come on. Maybe if I- Oh, that's- Oh, that's when I get more of those. Did it just go through the wall? I think it went through the wall and exploded on the other side. Anyway, I'm trying to put my weapon away. There you go. Somehow I've already triggered the enemies. Okay. Out. This. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, oh, I'm gonna scream. 
Thank you for the stuff. I'm too stressed to. Oh, I think we can. I think we, we probably could have opened this, but we can destroy it potentially. I don't actually know. If if anybody does know for sure, I can I'll, I can try to remember and look it up. But it seems like something that you could potentially do. Damage your loot before you even get into it. Just in case. I actually meant to switch my ammo to the synthetic kind. Additional security drones, yep. Too close right there. It's hop, skipping, jumping away. I keep getting meta gel though, which is nice. I'm stuck again in this position. Uh, let's see if I can, there we go, okay. Nope, okay, well, we're stuck. At least I'm, uh, fi I'm actually firing where I want to be. Even if my, uh, character model isn't, there she goes. A burst of white noise over all frequencies and doing nothing to your hot suits heads up display inter interprets a new series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Let me make sure this is actually binary language that you can actually translate. Also, I forgot um, that you unlock further specialization. Well, is it is it after this particular mission? Or is it just like once I hit a certain level? It might be when I hit a certain level. I feel like it might be this mission though. Um. Yes. It um. It spells out help. H e l p technically. Um. Which is just really. Terrifying, almost, you know, and like, sad and scary and like, not like, oh my gosh. Like, the VI was apparently starting to gain some sort of sentience, and as it's dying, sends out a message that just says, help, over and over again. We'll replace your base class and the talent. Yeah. Okay. Highly trained killing machines, struck with its cell and all combat situation, increase health, damage protection. Improve the immunity of barrier. Could be Rylan. Nemesis is a biotic specialist. <gasps> no. Shock Trooper. <laughs> Make me more durable. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. This is like the, like, extra, like... Is it? Oh, I think I'm, like, not remembering right. Shock Trooper. Barrier specialization. Sure. Sure. Like when you get close to it, I feel like you can actually add more. Like you can add stuff at the end. So the plus and minus four there is at the end. Is it's like extra stuff somehow? What do you call it? Like a prestiging kind of? I think. Maybe maybe they've just always been there and they're for like you to yeah they're just there to do that. Never mind. I don't know why my brain was just like, oh wow, I'm just noticing these now. Uh... Oh, 
let's get the knock them out for a little longer. Rex. Let's just get let's just work towards these. <laughs> just thank you, real baby. Which is being very helpful right now. So Ugh, look at all this stuff. I don't care. I don't I don't care. Anyway. In Mass Effect 3, this mission will actually pop up again with huge consequences. As many of us know. Um, I guess slight spoiler if you're interested in not hearing it, but as many of us know and sometimes forget, including myself, um, that VI is the basis upon which Edie is built that we meet in Mass Effect 3. So, which is just crazy. I don't know, I think, yeah, no, she tells you in the game. Cause I'm like, did somebody tell me or did like, or what, you know? But no, she does tell you in the game. Um, she like mentions it somehow, in some way. Um, but it is something I think you could potentially not catch. Anyway, that was like, just that plus the help thing makes me like really sad. Like she was basically, a game, like by the time you meet her in 3, she's game, she's, she's an AI, you know? Like very advanced AI. Um, so I don't know, she's like, she's like Geth-like gaining sentience, but like not in the way that Geth did. Anyway, that was a long spoiler. Um, now is the time in the video where I thank my patrons. So, once again, I want to thank Scalabunger for being a sapling patron. Thank you so much for your support. I, I appreciate it immensely. I'll be able to let you guys know if I can end up staying in a hotel and recording extra games at some point soon. Um, Reese Galito, thank you so, so much as well for being a sapling. You guys are what makes the forest beautiful. And, and and fresh and and uh, full of hope and vigor. <laughs> anyway, then and a special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron. Um, who you know, you're the you're the you're the, you're the big boy in the forest. I guess <laughs> I don't know. That's that weird. It's late. I'm tired. Um. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna just let me go to bed now. Good night. <laughs>